I have something here that has completely transformed my creative workflow. As a professional photographer and video editor, efficiency is a key factor for me. I've been looking for things that can speed up my workflow while maintaining a high quality content. And now I think I've found it. The Toolbox Elite from Toolbox Inc has completely transformed my creative workflow. As a professional photographer and video editor, I rely heavily on Lightroom, Photoshop and DaVinci Resolve for my video editing. And the Toolbox Elite are seamlessly integrated into my workflow, offering unparalleled control and efficiency. The Toolbox comes in two versions. The Neo is the standard version and the Elite serves as the advanced model that comes with Bluetooth and haptic feedback. The Toolbox Elite boasts a sleek and premium design with solid build quality. It feels great to the touch, the buttons are solid and the dials have a nice tactile feedback. It sits comfortably on my desk and is designed to reduce wrist fatigue during excessive editing sessions, which is a huge plus for professionals who spend long hours editing. The Toolbox Elite comes in three colours, classic black, ivory white and the modern smoke black translucent which is the model i have here setting up the toolbox elite was straightforward after downloading the software from the toolbox website i connected it via bluetooth to my macbook and it connected first time and it was ready to use with lightroom you can also connect the toolbox elite via the usb cable when it came to photoshop i edited the settings slightly for my own preference for use with photoshop and for davinci resolve i downloaded a preset from the toolbox app it's compatible for both Windows and Mac, which makes it versatile for different setups. So the Toolbox is powered by two AA batteries. Now, I don't know how long the batteries last. I've had this thing a month now and the batteries are still going strong. And they're just the batteries that came with the Toolbox. And of course, depending on the quality of batteries will depend on how long they last. But so far, I've had no issues with battery power. The Toolbox Elite truly shines when using it with Lightroom. The customizable buttons and dials makes it extremely easy to adjust exposure, contrast, saturation and other critical settings without constantly reaching for the mouse or keyboard. The tactile feedback of the dials allows for precise adjustments, making my photo editing much faster and more intrusive. I found myself spending less time navigating menus and more time focusing on perfecting my images. Let me show you now. I'm going to take you through an edit in Lightroom now using the Toolbox. So I'll just turn it on and my Toolbox connects. As I said before, the Lightroom Classic preset that was already with the Toolbox works great for me. I haven't had to alter anything in there. And what I do like is it has this little floating window overlay here, which basically tells us the general buttons that we can use. So I'm going to place that up here, out the way. And I'm going to edit uh, an image I've already edited before. This is an edit of a ladybird. It's a 33 stacked image. We're only going to edit one image and then we'll copy the uh, settings over to the rest and stack it together, which I won't be showing you that, but I will show you the results after in Photoshop when we talk about the toolbox in Photoshop. But I'm going to go through a very quick edit now. So we can go to general and the toolbox had its own little menu system, which is fantastic. So I don't have to actually go into the Lightroom menu system. So what we're going to do here is color temp Temperature. let's bring that down a little bit and the reason I can do this so fast is because I have this all written down already on my iPad so I know what the what settings to use so don't get fooled it does take a lot longer to edit something than what I'm doing here you can see here uh, I'm just able to quickly go to the different settings and adjust them and the dials have a sound and a tactic feedback as well, so you can actually feel when you're turning the dial. Let's come to the highlights, let's turn them down a little bit. You can hear that, it's going click, 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 which is absolutely fantastic. And you can adjust the speed of it, you can adjust the tactile feedback, you can turn it off if you want to. So if it's something you don't like, you can turn it off. And I've got to admit, the standout feature for me is the dials themselves, because you're able to just dial everything in perfectly instead of sliding around with your mouse. Let's put some clarity on there. Okay, vibrance 20. Put some 25 on there. Sharpening. Actually, we just leave that as that. 
Uh, we're not going to do any uh, noise reduction or anything like that on here. This menu system, I normally have it over here somewhere. I'm normally editing on the big monitor behind me, so I've got a lot more room. And as you can see, Lightroom on the two thirds on the right, and then I have the menu system on the left. Because I'm recording the desktop, I'm a bit limited as to where I can stick it. I'm just going to put it there for now. But to go to the HSL, we're going to press in the little scroll button. And what we want to play with on this is the saturation. So I'm going to go to saturation for the reds. Now I'm going to put it to plus 15. We're going to go to the orange plus two. Yellow minus 25. And we want the blues next. I want that minus 29. And again, I've already edited this image, so I know roughly what I want out of it. So let's go to the hue. And I'm going to go to blue plus two. Luminance to the reds. So again, to navigate your HSL, you press the scroll button in to get to the menu that changes the menu and then up and down selects your colors very easy to navigate and again the tactile feedback is telling me what i'm pressing it's, it's great it really is go to the color grading so for the color grading generally i just use the mouse for this part so i'm gonna go with that and this is because I just like sliding the colours about, that's all. Okay, colour grading, blending. We want blending to 100%. Balance at zero. Calibration, let's have a look here. Calibration transformation. The calibration on the red hue. Let's go to there. I'm going to put that to plus 27. Saturation to 80. It's a ladybird, so we want to push that red saturation up so we can see its shell. Green hue, let's go plus 50. So again, we want to emphasize the greens because we want to, you know, it's a red ladybird on green foliage, so we're pushing those colors. Let's just take a bit of blue out. We'll take the saturation of the blue down. So there's a very quick edit that I just did as a demonstration. But like I said, I think for me, what I like about the toolbox are the dials, being able to just dial in the colors and the exposure and the saturation without having to slide it with your mouse. Now, typically when it comes to my workflow, once I've done my color grade, I will then copy that to all the other stacks, stack it in Helicon and then go over to Photoshop. And that's what I want to talk about next, is using this toolbox Elite in Photoshop. For me, when I'm using the Toolbox Elite in Photoshop, it's an absolute game changer. I can easily switch between brushes. I can easily adjust the size and opacity. I can zoom in and out very easily. The ability to customize the buttons and the dial rotations for various tasks is a huge advantage. This level of control has significantly improved my productivity, allowing me to work with more efficiency and greater precision. I can even assign the toolbox buttons to my Photoshop actions, making the cleanup of my macro shots so much faster. But the biggest advantage that I've found using this toolbox elite is when it comes to a massive edit. If I've got an image that needs a lot of cleanup, then the Toolbox Elite gives me a big advantage, and that is real estate. When it comes to images like that, I really need to break out my Wacom tablet. So I have my Wacom tablet, I have my keyboard, uh, I've got my mouse, which we don't really need to be honest with you. But you can see, <laughs> look how much space that is taking up on my desk. What I can do is I can get rid of the keyboard and bring in the Toolbox Elite, and my desk space is so much easier to work with when I'm doing an edit in Photoshop. The Toolbox Elite is more comfortable to work with. It takes up less room than my keyboard. And another thing I like as well is there's an option to tick on in the app in the background that automatically switches your preferences depending on what software you're using. So if you've noticed now, our little window over here has now changed because we're in Photoshop rather than Lightroom. And that 
is something I really like. It saves you having to keep switching over the um, the settings. It does it automatically. But if you wanted to alter something, let's say we want to alter this one here, which is the tour button here. All you got to do is click on it and assign the command that you want to use it with. You got tour menu. This is the menu that you saw in Lightroom. The Lightroom comes with one. The uh, Photoshop doesn't, see, but you can create one yourself if you want to. And you can also assign macros if you wish to. I mean, there's so much option here in this little device, but look how small it is. Okay, it really is small. Again, when it comes to editing in Photoshop, it is an absolute breeze and an absolute pleasure to work with. Well, let's talk about the other work that you don't see me do, and that's video editing. When it comes to video editing within DaVinci Resolve, I went into the Toolbox app and downloaded one of their presets. And to be honest with you, I really haven't had to mess around with the preset much. I can zoom in on my timeline, I zoom out, cut, adjust my edit. It is absolutely brilliant. And again, the standout feature for me are the dials, because you haven't got them on a standard keyboard. Being able to just use it, zoom in and out, and feel that tactile feedback while editing is absolutely fantastic. It streamlines the editing process by providing quick access to timeline navigation, color grading, and clip trimming functions. Customizing controls for different stages of editing, such as cutting, blending, and applying effects, has significantly reduced the time I spend on repetitive tasks. It has also enhanced my overall editing experience, and I couldn't be more happier editing on DaVinci Resolve and using the toolbox for timeline navigation. That's what I've mostly been using it for. The Toolbox Elite is an essential tool for any professional that is editing in Lightroom, Photoshop or DaVinci. There are many apps that it can support and again because it's fully customizable you can customize it to your needs. It's exceptional build quality, ease of setup and controls have greatly improved my workflow and productivity. Whether you're a photographer, graphic designer or video editor. The Toolbox Elite is a valuable addition to your toolbox. It has certainly earned its place as a permanent fixture on my desk. I want to thank Toolbox Inc for sending over the Toolbox Elite for me to review. If you are interested or want more information about the Toolbox Elite, there is a link in the description below. I want to thank you for getting to the end of this one and again, as always, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for sticking to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please subscribe and click the like button. It really does help out the channel. I want to thank my Patreon supporters for their continued support in supporting me and this channel. If you're interested in joining Patreon, then check in the description below this video for a link to Patreon. If you want to continue watching my macro journey, then click one of the videos in front of you now.